Hello friends, in this video we will discuss various important uh, rearrangement reactions in organic Hello friends, today we will discuss benzylic acid rearrangement reaction. Now, in benzylic acid rearrangement, statement is alpha diketones are converted into a base catalyzed rearrangement into alpha hydroxy acid or salt of alpha hydroxy acids. For example, structure of benzyl pH C double bond O C double bond O in presence of a base like NaOH or KOH it is converted into benzylic acid benzylic acid rearrangement reaction probably is the first intramolecular rearrangement reactions proposed in 1883 this was the first which was introduced so this rearrangement is called as benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement reaction or just simply benzylic acid rearrangement reaction first of all let's see the general structure of this rearrangement it is alpha diketones now why these structures are called as alpha diketones maybe this is first question which is coming in your mind now if we compare this structure with the structure of ketone ketones are I mean their structure is R C O R any carbon atom neighboring to this carbonyl carbon is denoted as alpha now if we compare this structure with the structure of alpha diketones then at alpha position of this carbonyl group there is second alpha car or second uh, carbonyl carbon at alpha position of this ketone structure or carbonyl carbon there is you can say another ketone structure or another carbonyl group so just because of these ketone structures or these carbonyl carbons are present uh, adjacent to each other these are called as alpha diketones okay now when these alpha diketones are treated or these undergo a rearrangement reaction in presence of base they give corresponding alpha hydroxy acids or simply salt of alpha hydroxy acids or cr2 oh coo k or you can say any okay so this is just the general introduction or general reaction of this benzylic acid rearrangement now let's see its mechanism its mechanism will be as this rearrangement or these alpha diketones are rearranging them themselves in presence of a base that means first there will be a nucleophilic attack on these alpha diketones so hydroxyl group will act as a nucleophile and it will be attacking on any of the these two carbonyl carbons just because these are the only positive centers in this structure why they are positive just because this oxygen is more electronegative so there is always a delta negative charge on this oxygen and this carbon will be partially positive similar in this case also so this hydroxyl group will attack on these carbon to give a new structure like this one now one of the bond present between these this uh, carbon and oxygen is utilized that means this carbon is taking its electron to form a new bond with upcoming nucleophile so this oxygen will be getting negative charge in second step this structure is rearranged into a new structure just to stabilize the negative charge present on this oxygen so your second step will be step 2 will be this is step 1 step 2 will be rearrangement
R1 C O minus hydroxyl group C double bond O R2. Now to stabilize the negative charge on this oxygen, the R group from neighboring carbon Now to stabilize the negative charge present on this oxygen, the R group from this, this R group, it migrates to the neighboring carbon or probably like this one. Now due to this migration, this electron present on oxygen is utilized to form a double bond between carbon and oxygen. So this step is called as rearrangement and it will go like this C O H double bond O C R1 this migrated this will be the migrated group and this is the oxygen now it will get a negative charge just because in this case also this to form a new bond between carbon and the upcoming alkyl group or aryl group the electron will be utilized by the carbon so this oxygen will get now negative charge so this is oxygen which is getting negative charge now to stabilize this oxygen again this of negatively charged oxygen is stabilized by proton migration or proton transfer this is the hydroxyl group coming from the base now to, to stabilize the negative charge on this oxygen this proton is transferred to this oxygen so this step is proton transfer so our structure will be like this now this hydroxyl oxygen is getting proton and it is converted into a hydroxyl group now up till now we discussed as far as as this is a base catalyzer rearrangement only in the first step we have seen how the hydroxyl group is attacking on the alpha diketone structure but up till now we have not discussed what are what happens to potassium ion or what happened to sodium ion if we are using koh or naoh as a base then in the third step or in the last step this oxygen negatively charged oxygen it accept the potassium or you can say sodium ion to stabilize the whole structure or to form salt of alpha hydroxy acid so finally it accept a potassium ion or sodium ion and it is converted into a potassium salt of alpha hydroxy acid o k or o n a and it is alpha hydroxy acid now what has changed up to during this this reaction in the previous structure or in the starting structure the alpha diketones two alkyl groups they are present on two separate carbon atoms but in the final product both these alkyl groups or aryl groups they are present now on the same carbon atom that's why this is called as a rearrangement reaction or more specifically this rearrangement is taking place inside only or inside the a single molecule that's why this is called as or this is an example of intramolecular remember this intramolecular rearrangement now what are the features of this rearrangement now i mean uh, the feature means first we'll discuss instead of using uh, a normal base like koh or naoh if we use sodium methoxide then what will be the product suppose again we'll see the example of benzene if it is treated with sodium methoxide that is ch3ona now the product in this case will be ph c ph oh 
C double bond O O C H three. That means we will get a ester structure if we use instead of sodium plain base if we use alkoxides as base then we will get ester as a final product and second feature of this rearrangement is regarding migratory aptitude now this is the term which is coming every time whenever we discuss any kind of rea any rearrangement this is the term which is coming every time migratory aptitude now first of all let's see what is migratory aptitude simply in simple words migratory aptitude is nothing but it is a tendency of any atom any group to migrate or to change its position from one atom to other it is just the tendency now this tendency depends on various factors like electron i mean the presence of uh, specific groups like electron withdrawing group electron donating group and so many factors now in this particular case in case of benzylic acid rearrangement reaction the migratory aptitude it depends on the stability of you can say uh, not stability exactly stability it depends on what type of group is attached to your aromatic structure as far as some simply suppose if we have a alpha diketone containing two different groups like phenyl ring and the other group aryl group is suppose containing a chlorine substitution to the phenyl ring then this benzyl ring or this phenyl ring will migrate with ease or it will migrate easily than this substituted ring just because of attachment of this electron withdrawing group that means as far as aromatic structures are concerned if two different aromatic structures are present on present in the alpha diketone then the structure or the group or the ring aryl ring will migrate with ease which contain i mean no electron withdrawing group if it is containing electron withdrawing group then it is i mean it is very difficult for that ring to migrate from one place to other suppose if we have two or again second case if we have two aromatic structures present in our alpha diketone structure that is first is substituted with chlorine and second ring is substituted with a methoxy group och3 now in this case this close substituted ring chlorine substituted ring with will migrate with more ease than the ring substituted with methoxy group now this is just because electron withdrawing tendency of this methoxy group is more than the chlorine ring in the first case electron withdrawing group or i mean the electron withdrawing tendency of this chlorine is more than in this case we have just a proton so this ring will migrate with more ease than substituted with chlorine than substituted with methoxy so this is the trend in case of about migratory aptitude about uh, about the group or specifically aryl group which are present on alpha diketone structure so this is in short about benzylic acid rearrangement reaction i hope you enjoyed or more specifically i hope you understand the mechanism as far as and as far as uh, the uh, features of this rearrangement thank you for watching if you have any suggestions please contact me on sdkulkarni99@gmail.com thank you